What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we're going to be discussing one of my most frequently asked questions. Yes, I've done a tutorial on how to hit a shank. I've done a tutorial on many of these bad golf shots, but as a whole, I haven't really done many tutorials on how to be bad at golf. Let's get right into it. Step one to becoming a bad golfer. So for me, I like to visualize my golf shots, right? So it all starts with your range session before your round. Clearly I'm on the range here at Sunflower Hills Golf Course and I really need to learn to visualize my shots. So yes, typically uh, how you normally would want to play golf, you would just visualize that shot going dead straight, right? Like directly at your target. But if you want to be bad at golf, you need to visualize shots like the shank, the, the top, or uh, or maybe even like the chunk, right? Uh, you need to be visualizing all these shots. Maybe the pull hook, uh, the, the slice block, and maybe even the shank hook. So all of these shots, they're super important to know before you actually step on that first tee box and go straight into your round. So now that we've hit all the bad golf shots, let's go straight to the course. So some of you guys are probably wondering why am I playing with range balls today? It goes back to visualization. You see, if you expect to hit the fairway, you're probably gonna hit the fairway. And that's not what we wanna do today. If you expect to hit it OB, which is over there, and that is also considered the range, then you might as well just start playing with range balls anyway because you're going to have to tee up multiple balls and re-tee hopefully at least once but maybe twice. First we're going to visualize a shot straight left into the OB because if you visualize it going straight down the middle you're going to hit it straight down the middle. Bottom line we need to visualize this ball going straight left into the OB territory and after that the goal will be just to tee up another ball. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of thinking it out in my head but I'm going to try and top the next one. That one went OB. Um, now we're going to tee up another one out of our stash of golf balls here, just like this. And instead of hitting this one uh, to the right or to the left, we're just going to go ahead and try and top this one. Okay, so now we've advanced the ball about 10 feet forward. We're going to now step up to this ball and try and push it straight right into the trees. As you can see, our ball has come to rest just behind these trees and then the pin is on the other side. We have a tiny gap. Once again, instead of visualizing our shot going to the pin, we're gonna visualize our shot hitting one of the trees, hopefully coming straight back at us. All right, as you guys can tell, we have made it to a par three. We played the first, second, and third hole. We started off, <laughs> with a 26 on hole one, moved on to hole two, hooked it straight OB yet again, uh, made a solid 16 there, which was a par five. So unfortunately we wanted to score higher on that hole. So we have some people across the street looking at me like I'm crazy considering I'm teaching you guys how to play bad golf. Um, so I'm gonna whisper on these tips. Anyway, we are on a par three here. I'm gonna let you kind of see the hole. Instead of visualizing the shot going on the green, once again, we're gonna visualize a shank on this hole, a dead shank straight to the right, hopefully into the water. And then from there, we're gonna see what we can do. All right, my ball finally found the green after I dropped my ball, topped it into the water. After that, I took another drop pulled it straight left OB over the road over here. After that, took another drop, topped it, skipped it over the water. And then after that, I hit that shot to right here. So I'm finally on the green. I don't even know what I'm putting for. We'll count it up after. Uh, instead of, you know, hitting it off the green, because technically we could blast this one off the green, but instead of doing that, we need to be realistic because the people we play with are just gonna think we're trying to be a bad golfer or we're trying to hit bad shots when in reality we need to make them believe 
that we're trying to hit a good shot and we're just messing up. So a key tip on the greens, always leave the pin in because that's a two shot penalty. From here, I'm gonna try and actually two putt this one. So we hit it a foot past here, actually maybe six inches. And of course, instead of taking the pin out, we're actually just gonna leave it in and tap in. Oh, man. never mind. We're actually gonna three putt this one. Man, this is tough. Okay, that was, uh, I think that was a seven putt with the pin in. I'm not sure, correct me if I'm wrong. So we've discussed a lot of bad golf shots in today's video. We only have a few more to discuss, and one of them being the shank hook. So with the shank hook, you're just gonna wanna, one, visualize the ball exiting right in here, okay? This is about your path. Maybe, maybe not so much that aggressive if you can't really get a good contact shank hook on it. And then two, approach the ball with the hosel of the club just beyond the ball. Three, swing hard. And the fourth step to that one is always club four. I don't even know if you guys can see the ball because it's blending in with the leaves, but there it is. From here, we're gonna chunk it just short of the fairway. That is the goal. The chunk shot is pretty easy. You just approach the ball, visualize yourself, entering the ball just behind the ball about uh, probably six inches. So we're gonna set up six inches behind the ball and just visualize it, okay? That was better than we expected. We even pull chunked that one. All right, so we are almost done with the tutorial today. One of the last few shots we need to discuss is the bladed chip shot. Yes, we could chunk it and make it go a couple feet uh, in front of us, but then see, look, we'll have a putt from there and we don't wanna have a putt, okay? Um, so with the bladed chip, there's a bunker on the completely opposite side of the hole there. And all we're gonna do is approach the ball with the bottom of the club face about halfway up the golf ball and swing remotely normal. And hopefully it just takes off super fast and goes into that bunker. Okay, hover just above the golf ball and swing normal. That was perfect. The dreaded bunker shot. Most people don't like the bunkers, but for me, I like hitting bad golf shots, so it's perfect. There's one of many plays we can either one, shank it, two, blade it over the green, or three, chunk it to where it barely, or if not, maybe it doesn't even get out of the bunker or, or get to the green. Unfortunately, this sand is pretty pretty uh, hard today. Uh, it's obviously wet, so we can't chunk it enough to really get it short of the green. Instead, we're just gonna straight up blade it, okay? Right here. All right, that one went about 70 yards into the trees. <laughs> 